somebody called uh, a guy from Ray from Oakland called K R O N and did a Howard Stern phony phone call in the middle of it. Oh. And it, it's funny to me because uh, there's a, Brad Kava. How do I know that name? Somebody just know. gave me this. They said Brad Kava wrote a, a terrible thing about me. I, he's, he, he writes for the San Francisco Radio Examiner. I don't know what that is, but I seem to remember the name Brad Kava. I've heard of it. I don't know if he was a radio guy or worked with us. Or, I just know that name. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he wrote, this is so distasteful and tacky of this phony phone call. I can only hope that someday when Stern's house is burning or his wife is in a plane crash or his family has some terrible tragedy, worse than when his daughter, will, or worse off, his daughter will be naked and again in a play, the callers from across the globe will prank him and make this his worst day his worst nightmare. Now, first of all, I had nothing to do with the prank phone call. This is insanity. And I, that's like the, the people who, the, the news departments who allow, the, they don't even check a source. They don't know who anyone is. They allow this to go on. I should sue them for making, for, for putting this on the air and using my name. I don't have anything to do with these phone calls. Why should a tragedy befall me? What a thing to write about me. I don't have anything to do with it. Right, not the phone caller. No. He's wishing tragedy you. No, no, me. <laughs> what do I have to do with it? First of all, I think it's hysterical. Uh, and I applaud Ray from Oakland, not for putting my name on the air, although I do like that. Uh, I don't want to be associated with a tragedy, but I do applaud him for pointing out something. How do we know the news is the news if no one's if checking real, the sources? Yeah. So here's the phone call. And to Brad Kava, whether my wife uh, uh, dies in a, a plane crash or my kids are naked or my, or my house is burning, I, I'm not sitting there and perpetrating this douchebag. You know. Stand by. We we have PG and E on the line. We I mean, if somebody calls up and yells out the N word during one of these newscasts, you would say, "Gee, shame on the news department for not screening it," because they shout out my name. Shame on Howard Stern. Right. Why don't we blame all black people when someone screams out the N word on one of these newscasts? I tell you what, we'll call up, we'll make a phony phone call, scream out the N word. And then he, Brad Kava can write an article that all black people are bad because they scream out the N-word on, on, during tragedies. What do I have to do with it, you fuck nut? You're at home taking care of your new cat. Yeah, I'm, I'm at home minding my own business over the weekend. I don't even know what's going on in San Francisco. And uh, you're writing negative articles about me and hoping my family dies and my people in my life die. Who is Brad Kava? I just looked him up. So. Yeah. In 1996, he wrote an article about you calling you a hypocrite because you advertised the Mike Tyson fight on our show, and he's saying that you advertised a rapist and you're, you're supposed, you know, you were a hypocrite. So he actually called in and he said to him, like, listen, the guy did his time and now he's out making a living right. and we're advertising it. So he also wrote. Also, by the way, I'm not the hypocrite. I, I don't sit there. I'm not in the advertising department right, of the radio right. station. I don't have anything to do with who they sell ad time to. I'm a fucking genius. But he wrote, when you first went to San Francisco, he wrote that you would get no ratings. And yeah. then when we went to number one, he wrote one line. Yeah. But he I, did come on the show to, you know, and he, he fought with you. Well, he clearly has an agenda with yeah. me. Because, it, just think of the lot. I'm just talking about it from logic. If I, if I, if I went on, if I, if I went in and, and, and used a, a derogatory slang about Chinese and, and called in, would he blame the Chinese? What are you blaming me for? All right, Dan, uh, stand by. We, we have PG&E on the line. We want to uh, get in and talk with them now, and then we'll get back with you very shortly here. Uh, Stacey, can you give me the name again? Andrew Sobel. Andrew is Sobel line. is on the line. Can you hear us, Mr. Sobel? Yes, yes, I can. All right, we just uh, heard from one of our viewers who said that PG&E was warned of an uh, intense smell of gas in that area of the current fire and explosion uh, three weeks ago, and that not enough was done during that time. How does PG&E respond? to that. You know, I really do not have confirmation of that um, event happening. I would definitely, you know, once this, right now our main concern is just to get this fine shut down and um, once we get that taken care of, we can definitely go back and take a look at So the line is not shut down? The line is not shut down? The line is definitely shut down. That's one of the main things. Um, the line was broken down by um, Howard Stern's penis. That was the biggest problem with the line coming both part. Is it Howard Stern's penis and probably Stop. were the causes? Yeah, read that. This we is don't know. just a joke. Move on. Sorry. That was rude.
That was it was oh. that was a joke. Right. Let's move on. All right. Over to uh, back to these pictures. Just incredible pictures um, so of this fire. Some guy decides on his own to call up and say Howard Stern's penis is the cause of this disaster. And then Brad Cover writes an article saying he hopes that my daughter's naked. He hopes that my wife gets in a plane crash. He hopes that my house burns down. And he hopes that uh, terrible things happen. Terrible to things daughter. happen to me. And and, and like. What, what has it got to do with me? <laughs> he just doesn't like you. Yeah. Just why don't you come clean as a, as a journalist and say, I really have a problem with Howard Stern as an entertainer. I don't get it. I don't think he's funny. I think he's an animal. But what, what do I have to do with this? If people calling up and blurting out things uh, happens from, from now to eternity. Personally, I think it's fucking great. I happen to think it's terrific because, first of all, think about it. There's some, in the middle of a tragedy, they get a hold of a, a spokesperson from the company. W what are the odds of that? That they're calling you yeah. to give you yeah. information. Yeah, think about it. And wouldn't you, in some level, as a reporter, go, how do I know it's you? That's the first question I ask. I'm a chess player. The first question you ask is, what is the guy trying to do to me? That's what you got to ask yourself in life. What is the guy trying to do to me? What's his plan here? Why would the representative of a company call a media? In the middle make, of a tragedy where he's right. very busy. And apparently he doesn't even know whether a line... First he goes, we have to shut down the line. He goes, well, you mean you haven't shut down the line? Of course we've shut down the line. And he, right away you know it's phony. What, don't even wait for Howard Stern. Where's the reporting? You can't just have people calling in and claiming who they, they're someone. The first thing you say is, how do I know it's really you? And you ask them a series of questions and then you weed them out. They're so anxious to get anyone on the, on the radio, on the TV... That's the real fucking issue. Brad Cobb is so mentally deranged that he's sitting there going, I wish bad things on Howard Stern. Well, listen, but what if somebody calls in tomorrow and goes, Brad Cobb is a douchebag. Am I going to blame Brad Cobb? I'm not going to blame Brad Cobb. I'm going to blame the guy who called in or, or the news department for not screening. So stupid. What a dumb thing to write. And what a terrible thing to say that he wishes tragedy on, on innocent people. What a fucking moron. All right, moving along.